Hey, welcome back, AshleyAllThingsIndustry.com. And what I wanted to do today briefly was review uh, the sutures. I sort of stole from carts around the building. And this is kind of what I came up with. And uh, let's just go over not only the suture, kind of the indications, but also the needle. I mean, our, I've reviewed, I've looked through magazine or catalogs and tried to figure out which type of needle I'm supposed to use and I have no idea. I mean the pictures don't tell you squat. So let's just review that really quick. So let's start with uh, old school. Oh yeah, now we're gonna I have a little, this is 10 millimeters and it kind of gives you an idea of the um, the length of the needle. Okay, oh, yeah, let's start with old school silk. So this, oh this is 6-0. Wow, that's really skinny. So 6-0 sil silk and this one has a P3 Sure. Okay, let's see. This is a G1 micro point cutting uh, cutting needle, and this one's interesting because it's both linked. So both ends are linked, and there's this is what a G1. You can see the dimensions compared to that. So it looks to be about 10 millimeters. And 60. If you don't know, it goes from uh, 60. The higher the number, the skinnier the braid skinnier the material. So six. this is 6 so this is pretty skinny, silk, um, non-resorbable, so you'll have to uh, take this out. A lot of inflammation. Don't typically use this. What do we use the double needles for, you know? 